Hi right, guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video. So this is my third video in my series on uh, creating electrical drawings using SkyCAD, which you can do totally for free. They have a free plan. So if you haven't used SkyCAD, it's very good. I, it's for how I do all my electrical drawings at work and I like it. I'm enjoying it very much. So in the last video, it was a very long video. I'd, I'd be surprised if you watched it, but we did power distribution, which was I set up this, this sort of circuit, which is I've got my power supply 24 volts um, coming to some terminals and I'm going into four circuit breakers and then one of those circuit breakers is feeding my PLC the other one's feeding my switch the next one's feeding my PC and the next one's feeding my Opta I'll do an Opta PLC so um, I showed in that video how to set them up as components that way you can come down into your left hand library sides here and then now I can drag in my Arduino Opta as a PLC component like that so um, importantly now that I've set them up as components, you can see that I have PC1 as a drawing reference, num drawing reference number for that PC, PLC2 for the Arduino Opta PLC. So if I come to my parts list now, importantly, um, over here maybe, yep. So we can see we have PLC1 and then we've got PLC2 and PC1. So let's add in our details. We can either do it here by clicking into the parts list, yep, or we can come here and actually um, Oh, have I clicked on something? What's happening? I appear to be stuck. Okay, yeah. So this, these are not behaving as components. I don't know why. Why is it allowing me to click on this whole thing? Don't know. Anyways, so if I click on the drawing reference number PC1 or PLC2, let's do PC1 first. Um, I can now put in information. So this is the PC I'm using on my rig. Uh, I've got off Amazon, so it's a Triku is the manufacturer. And uh, part number wise, do do do. Um, I don't actually know. Oh, it's N100, maybe. No, I don't know. I'm slightly just guessing here. I think we'll just put that. That looks like that should be enough to get the information on it. So. That's, we'll go through that for a part number. We could put a description. Uh, so we could put an image, but we won't. And we will put a description, which will just be that whole title there. Description, paste. And then let's just confirm that's there. So if we go back to our parts list, give it a refresh. There we go. So we've got information on our PC there. Lovely. Cool. All right. And then lastly, let's do the PLC. So we'll do that this way. So this is generally how I prefer to fill out my parts list. So PLC2 is our Arduino Opta. Um, I don't know where we can get like a data sheet for it or something. Uh, always reject cookies. Okay. Can't really get one here. Hmm. DigiKey. Cool. All right, this is probably good enough. Uh, maybe not. DigiKey manufacturer. Okay, if I Google this, will this come up with? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Cool. So, um, we'll do the description later. We have manufacturer, and they are Arduino, and part number is there. Quantity sorted, and then yeah, let's just give it a description. The DigiKey description uh, description should be good enough, I think. Uh, where is it? Detailed description. No, I can do. Cool. Let's close that. Refresh this. Perfect. Look at that. Cool. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep this video short. So we've updated our parts numbers there. So what I wanted to cover in this video is I was just about to click the renumbering process and I thought, oh, better record this so you can see this. So if you come up here on the top, here you can see I've got no wire numbers right now. Um, I think I have one. Yeah, L1 there. Now, I don't want that to be called L1 because that is my ground. That's my zero volt, sorry. What is SkyCAD named this? So it's currently named L2. So what it's done is it named these wire numbers based upon all these connections based on when I put them in. So for some reason, I've obviously put in this zero volts first, then this one, then that one, then that one or whatever. So if I come back here, I want my wire before my terminal from my power supply I want that to be mm, okay. I'll tell you where my where, where I'm thinking here. I want this one, which is after the um, 
after the power supply now coming out from the I want all the 24 volts coming out from my bank of terminals to be L1. That's kind of nice and simple. So we click, we write in L1 and then we overwrite because it, it knows that I'm already using L1 elsewhere. And then I want all my zero volts afterwards to be L2. Um, now I can change this actually, maybe because it's just, uh, this is just a little home rig. Maybe I call them all 24. Um, and the reason why I'm thinking that is because the wiring numbers I have at home, I think they are just numbers. Uh, and I don't think I have letters. I might have L maybe. So I'm thinking maybe I do 24 and 0. And then maybe leave these two as L1 and L2. So right now you can see. So what I've done is I've labeled this L1, L2. And then 24 and 0. Yeah. So you can see that that is 0. So currently on this sheet. The only bit of wire numbers you have indicating here. It are, is this 0 right here. But now, if I click uh, renumbering process up at the top, I can renumber all, which will do the sheets, would do wire numbers, component numbering. I'm just going to do wire, wire renumbering slash processing. Click that. Boom. And it's now just populated beautifully, all of them. So you've got 24 zeros. You can't see that L1 and L2 there. So if, maybe if I extend this up, oh, look at that, it's popped up. Oh, that's, that's good. That, that's powerful, that. So what it's also done as well, as you can see, it's then taken like the Liberty or and wired now this bit after the circuit breaker L3. And then you kind of got what an L6 there an L7 and L9. So that's, I'm guessing, assuming that these have also been renumbered, but we can't see them. So that's not great. And then it's also renumbered my terminals. So some of them like here have X0-2, X0. So I want this one to be X0. I don't want it to be a specific dash two. <clears throat> so what I can do is I can freeze this ID so that it won't change. So if I change this now, uh, okay, one second. If I change here, make it, okay, I can't make it dash just zero now. What I'll do is I'll delete this terminal, copy and paste this terminal to there. And then now I should be able to click freeze ID and then now if I hit renumber now, beautiful. And then that won't get renumbered back to, to that dash. So these being X0-1, X1-1, I think I'm, I'm okay with that being there like that. Um, in general though, if it's a specific terminal, I would rather use do, 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 terminals, terminals, terminals down here. I'd rather use terminals, these ones. Uh, wire there. X zero. So I'd rather use that for a specific terminal. Then this um this could, but I guess it's just showing that, like the blue is a distribution block. So for now, let let's leave it like that. Although it's interesting now that's ch that's gone back to be an X zero now, which is funny. So if I want to keep that, um. One thing I don't like about SkyCAD here is that the terminals, it leaves this gap there, which I'd rather the line goes almost all the way through, or like at least be, I'd, I'd rather the line be poking out a bit, you see it there, than being like this. I don't like that, but anyways, that's just personal preference. I don't think it, it affects the wire numbers. So what I'm interested in now is I've got L1 and L2, I've got 24 and zero, and then now, how do we wire now the rest of these? How do we label the rest of these wire numbers? So this, I'm guessing, L1, L2. This is now L3. That's L4. So if I double click it, I can see this is L3. Yep. L4. And then I guess that that's done L5. Okay, no, it's L6. So where's L5 gone? Hmm. Where would L5 be? That's interesting. What's there? L6, L7. Must I must have a slight little mistake or something that I'm thinking. That's weird. Where is L5? Can I f search for L5? Okay, I think I will label this one L5 and then it will tell me that I can or can't do that. Overwrite. Oh, I could have navigated to it. Damn it. There was a navigate button there, which I should have used. So L6. 
overwrite. Yeah. L6. And then, oh wait, uh, yeah, L6, and then this could be L7. I just clicked on a connection point there. L7. Now, I'm not, um, I'm not actually going to label these L7 right now. I'll just clean up, clean up the L's just so they kind of make sense. L8, and then this should be L9. Overwrite, yep. And L10, cool. And then I don't know, do I have some connection drawings drawn somewhere else on different circuits? I don't know. Um, so let's just hit renumber again. So they've all gone back and changed again, I think it looks like. L, L3, okay, no, they're the same. L4, L5, L6. Then what's happened there? L7, and that's gone to be an L10. Why? Navigate to, oh, okay. I see it, I didn't, I didn't spot it before. That Y there has to have a different Y number which makes sense. Um, does it though? Yeah. I guess in a, in a way actually, so this is where like, I'm actually, I, I don't want my terminals here because yeah, if it's going into a terminal then coming out, I guess you could say that that should change wire number, but I actually don't think that should change wire number because ultimately it's the same potential. It's just a distribution block. So, I don't, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure on my other drawing, SkyCAD doesn't force me to re, to change that wire number. So that, that's pretty annoying. Um, at this point for that, for this, for this functionality, if I want to follow through my wire numbers, which I don't really care too much about, especially on this home rig, but let's try and do this thing properly, right? Uh, if I'm going to try and follow through my wire numbers, I think I'm going to get rid of these terminals because I've already got it coming there out of X0. So I think it, that shouldn't, I don't, so it, I think this is a standard thing that maybe people differ on. Um, so maybe you might, you could tell me where you sit on the fence on this. But I would say that ultimately there and there is the same voltage potential. They shouldn't change wire number. Um, but I know like, yeah. Tricky. Okay. I think for my sake of keeping my wire numbers consistent, I'm going to get rid of that there and do that. Which is, why is that an L5? That's, so that should change. Obviously that can't be an L5. So we'll do that and then get rid of that, do that, lovely. So look, what's interesting is yeah, it it's happy with that L two and L two. So why is it unhappy? That's this is what I mean. This is the, the behavior I'm used to. I've got an L two going into a terminal, coming out, no problem, and it's happy with that. So why can't I slap that terminal on there, and it that remain L one? So let's try uh, renumbering process. Why renumbering? And then what do we have? L4, it, it's changing it. It's happy there, not happy there. I don't know what's happening there. If I do that, then why are we numbering? Okay, and then, okay. So that, my little um, aesthetic thing that I like to do actually makes a difference. Like now that I think that it's connected, so it's taken it, which is interesting. Um, and then I, I want this specifically to be an X zero. So this is where I might now like start to freeze. Bit frustrating this. Uh, let's come over here, pop that in there, freeze the ID, where is it? Freeze the ID and then bob that up to there. And now you should be in L1, yep, perfect. Ah, okay, that's frustrating. So I've already removed those, so I'll just leave them removed for now. Let's just not, let's not worry about it. No, I won't, I won't. I don't know why I do this to myself. I apologize. Uh, there, there, 
that and that and then we're just gonna freeze all your IDs. I'm sure Skycad have a reason for doing all these things, but yeah, I'm just I'm just showing you this is how I work um with Skycad. Cool. Alright, so now we're all done there. Um we've got all our wire numbers set. Um I think I don't use Skycad's terminals function, but I'll just show it to you um, in case you want to use it. And then there are obviously Skycad's own tutorials that you can look at. So if I just go here now and add a new sheet, so create new sheet. Again, I'm not going to do a tutorial on this because I don't personally use it. So it's not it's not a, a functionality of Skycad that I fully understand. And it might also not be part of the free tier. So that's something to consider as well. Um, so if we go click on a project, click show, and then click on terminal strips, then we can see all of our terminal strips, and then we can now uh, select X0 and X, X1, for example, and then we can go single level view, and this is our single level view, um, and then we can, I believe, import, export, block generator, generate block, I think that will do it. Or we can do home. So click on the, the bank of terminals you want. Click on home. Click on insert list block. And then pick the where you want to go. Click OK. And then click there. And then you get a table of your terminals. And then there is now an addition. There is another view you can get as well. Which is what I'm trying to find. Um, so that, that will list all my terminals. And this will update in real time as you change your terminals. So if I double click on it for example. And I can start to add descriptions. It shows me where each terminal is in the bottom left there. You can see. So it seems to be pretty feature heavy. Like they seem to have a lot of functionality. I just found it to be too much overkill for what I was trying to do. So I didn't I didn't use it um, per se. So terminal strip tools. Sorry. So you click on the terminal you want. Terminal strip tools. And then layout terminal strip. And then now you can come to your page that you want. Click OK. And then you can pop that in there. And then look at that. You get a nice little view of your terminals. So I found like dealing with the t to be determined aspect of it all and just displaying stuff, it was too much for me to handle in, in terms of like the automation and all the jumping around. So I don't use this feature. I just thought I'd show it to you just in case. And yeah, cool. All right. So we'll end this video here. Um, I'll delete this, this sheet out because I'm not going to use it. And yeah, in the next video, we'll start with our PLC inputs. So that should be pretty exciting. Cool, guys. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.